75 die-hard Hobbit fans from around the world have been introduced to Middle Earth in Rotorua. The fans who have travelled as far as or travelled from as far as Barbados and Slovenia are winners of a competition to travel here ahead of the release of the Hobbit trilogy's <laughs> final film. Among them are this American couple who had never left the States until now. I saw that we could win a trip to New Zealand, which has always been a dream of mine. And it was based on The Hobbit, which we love all things Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. And he had some time in his hands and I said, win me a trip to New Zealand. <laughs> and he did. The Hobbit fan tour is set to visit the Hobbiton movie set near Matamata. Some of the world's most avid Middle Earth fans have stepped into their favourite fantasy world. The fans won a competition to come to New Zealand to tour Lord of the Rings and Hobbit film locations ahead of the final movie's release. Diana Vesic caught up with them at Hobbiton where it all began. A moment when fantasy becomes reality. I'm in the shire, like, oh my gosh, it's just crazy. I love beautiful very much. The fans all won a competition sending in videos and postcards to Sir Peter Jackson. Almost 150,000 people entered, but only 150 are on the trip. Tom and Colette Paulick are from the US, and this is their first time abroad. We've seen this so many times on, on the movies, and now to actually be here live is incredible. For Ian Alexander, Hobbiton is home. His farm was selected as the location for the village by Sir Peter Jackson's scout in 1998. I sort of thought, well, who's this guy coming to the door? I haven't got time to talk to him with the rugby second part of the rugby about to start. It then took a crew nine months to transform this Waikato farmland into Hobbiton. The army was brought in to build an access road. This double arch bridge was built, all bringing the magic of the Shire to life. Since 2002, almost 800,000 people have taken a journey through Hobbiton. When they've been round the set and they walk into the Green Dragon, that I have seen English people just, their mouth opens. For these fans, it's just the beginning. So I'm just really, really happy and so grateful for this experience. <laughs> Tomorrow, they're off to Queenstown before a private screening of the final Hobbit film with Sir Peter Jackson on Thursday. Diana Vesic, One News. Well, this is, this is an amazing competition. It's a worldwide one. There were 140,000 people that put their hand up and said, hey, I, I think I'm one of the world's biggest fans of Middle Earth. And we've selected winners, and they're here with their um, partners to experience Middle Earth for themselves this week. Well, I think the whole experience for the whole five days is going to be connecting with Middle Earth. I mean, the great thing about New Zealand is there's just so much distinct scenery changes in such a short, compressed period of time. And, um, so many great Hobbit locations along the way as well. So I think they're going to leave here with a really good impression of the country uh, and what an experience of, uh, you know, a fan experience they're going to have is going to be pretty awesome. As you can believe it, I'm, I'm being like hyperventilating since I was in the plane. <laughs> and we looked out the window of the plane and we saw Middle Earth. And we thought, oh, we're really here. And it was just like, oh boy, here we go. This is, uh, this is real now. This is actually, actually starting to, to kick in. We're going to Rotorua, um, so we'll get settled in there, and then I think we get a nice cultural evening and a, a nice welcoming um, from the locals of New Zealand, so that's going to be super, super thrilling. They're going to see geysers, some incredible geothermal activity, which is really unique to this part of the country. They're going to have a traditional Maori welcome, which uh, is called a pofiri. <laughs> Uh, we just had the most amazing Maori cultural welcome. It was absolutely fantastic. We went through several different stages of the ceremony and it ended with a performance and a hacker inside and it was amazing, absolutely brilliant. Tomorrow we head to Matamata, to the Hobbiton set, and that is going to be amazing. I can't wait. That's just going to be like stepping into the movie because it's the actual set. <laughs> 